G'day crypto goers, I'm Adam Stokes. Welcome back to the channel where I bring you breaking news from the crypto land. You are looking at a chain link price chart. Over the last 24 hours, a huge eruption. Over the last day, this coin came in at about $10.54 before exploding all the way up to $13.63 US cents, pulling back slightly to $12.48. What's going on? Let's check it out. Over to the latest article I could find you from News BTC. It is titled Chainlink erupts to $13 as buyers continue to rush in. It reads, Chainlink has continued to surge higher since News BTC's last market update. Just minutes ago, as per data from, from TradingView, the cost of the popular altcoin crossed above $13 just minutes ago, reaching a local high of $13.60. Link is clearly in a price discovery phase with no historical resistances to surpass its price action. The cryptocurrency has been seeing massive inflows on spot and margin markets, pushing its price higher. While Link has been benefiting from capital inflows from buyers, the asset is also being boosted by those attempting to short sell it. The funding rate of Binance Futures Chainlink market is currently negative 0.02% per 8 hours. This means that shorts are relatively over leveraged compared to long term positions. Link's explosive price action, coupled with the funding rates, suggests that shorts were squeezed out of their position, pushing the asset even higher. Uh, for those in the short positions of Link, uh, I bid you all the best, but you've probably lost a lot of money there. As we can see, this thing just shooting up within hours. Reading on. This assertion can be corroborated by Ethereum blockchain data where analysts have found transactions where individuals can be seen being liquidated on chain. Chainlink's explosive price action comes as other cryptocurrencies offering Oracle technology, which is Chainlink's premise, have also surged higher. Band protocol with the code of band has gained 52% in the past 24 hours, rallying to $12 in a similar manner to link. The asset is benefiting from an impeding listing on Coinbase Pro. Uh, it's funny, I was just learning about band today and you can see it was good advice. I was getting it from another crypto channel where they're talking about the potential for band. And as this thing is just about to list on Coinbase Pro, it's already surging. Now, as we dive a little bit deeper, this article comes from CryptoSlate.com. It's a few hours older, but still has some good insight to what's happening. Titled, a $20 million decentralized chain link short was just liquidated on AVE. It reads, Chainlink has been on an unstoppable rally over the past few days. After dropping 22% from its July highs, the cryptocurrency has resumed the parabolic uptrend it began after March's capitulation crash. Crypto slate market data indicates that today, on August 8th, the price of the Ethereum-based altcoin moved across $14 for the first time ever. At the highs, the coin was up 40% in a 24-hour period. Now, just pausing there, we can see it's gone even higher than that on a 24-hour period, but this article is getting uh, slightly out of date as everything moves so quickly in crypto land, but the information within here is still very important. Link's explosion higher has made it the sixth largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization. For context, Bitcoin Satoshi Vision is seventh and Litecoin is eighth. This extreme strength in the price of Link has meant that those shorting the coin or those betting on the coin to drop have found themselves squeezed out of their positions. And boy, wouldn't they be hurting right now. This short squeeze culminated on the morning of August 8th when on-chain data indicated that millions of dollars worth of on-chain chain link short positions were partially or fully liquidated. When link moved past $11 on the morning of August 8th, reports began to flood the crypto Twitter space that on-chain short positions opened through AVE were getting partially or fully liquidated. The most notable of these short positions was worth approximately $20 million before August 8th. The short position was purportedly entirely liquidated when Link spiked above $14 with DeFi dashboards indicating the address net worth is $299.66. 
Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with the term shorting, that's essentially betting against the coin or any stock or commodity saying that it's going to go down in value. It's gone up in value, so those people have lost those short positions. They've liquidated those short positions to try and recoup or stop some of those losses. Reading on, the liquidation of this position seemingly came after the short holder deposited hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of collateral in an attempt to keep the bet afloat. DeFi analysts have not yet issued a post-mortem on this intense volatility in the price of Chainlink, but it is likely that there were other holders on Chainlink shorts that bit the dust during the surge. Data suggests that millions more worth of short positions were also liquidated on centralized derivatives platforms. One cryptocurrency trader noted that per his data, there was a $16 million link position along with a series of $1 million positions or $1 million plus positions that was liquidated on cryptocurrency futures platform. Analysis by another trader indicates that at least $40 million was liquidated on Binance Chainlink market alone. So what made this all happen? Was it Zeus Capital? Well, the persistence of the short holders made some think that at least some of the positions liquidated today were opened by Zeus Capital, a cryptocurrency fund that has heavily criticized Link in the past month. For those who don't know the context, Zeus Capital has spent the past month publishing dozens of tweets every day about how Chainlink is like Theranos and Enron before they collapsed. The company even released a 30-page report on why Link would hit seven cents then proceeded to attempt to pay crypto influencers up to 5 BTC each to bash the asset. This is huge. Now we've got to pause here for a second because that's a huge claim. If they are saying that Zeus Capital was slandering a coin, even paying people 5 BTC, tens of thousands of dollars to smash one coin in an attempt to ensure that their shorts won, that is ensuring that they had put a short against a coin, in this case being Link, and if that coin went down, they stand to make millions. Now, I am on the website of Zeus Capital, and let, let's just find out. Here I am, I've never been here before, so we'll explore this, explore this together. I type in Chainlink in their search. Let's see if anything comes up here. Here we are, news, it says, Zeus Capital Limited has no relationship or affiliation with Zeus Capital LLP, so maybe it's two different companies, and it states, it has come to our attention that a company called Zeus Capital LLP has published a research report relating to cryptocurrency and chain link. For the avoidance of doubt, we would like to state that Zeus Capital Limited has not produced or published research on this subject and has no relationship or affiliation with Zeus Capital LLP whatsoever. Zeus Capital Limited is regulated by the FCA, operates in the UK and only publishes research in the name of Zeus Capital Limited. Okay, so it appears that there's perhaps two Zeus Capitals here. Zeus Capital and Zeus Capital LLP. And this could in fact be deeper than what we realized, that being Zeus Capital is huge and someone has registered their name as Zeus Capital LLP, appeared to be someone that they are not, put out false information, paid people to put out false information, and that has all come crashing down on them. So to the good people at Zeus Capital, we've now cleared up that this wasn't you. It's another place called Zeus Capital LLP. And I think it's important that we realize that there are two separate entities, apparently, that have put out this information, if that information was put out. But in any case, if someone has shorted the market and if someone has paid people to slander or badmouth the coin, that is an illegal act. And I'm very happy to hear, not of the illegal act, but it backfiring on them. So don't mess with the markets. And if you do, you could get burnt and hopefully if these people are caught, if this is all true, they are taken to the cleaners further and put through the legal system because any type of false information out there that could mess with your money, my money, the market's money, the truth of the markets, it needs to be stopped. Irrespective of what market we're talking about, crypto markets, real estate markets, traditional markets, any markets, the spread of false information is morally, fiscally and legally wrong. And if it comes to bite you in more ways than one, well, fantastic. Diving a little deeper, this just gets even more and more exciting or confusing, depending which way you look at it. This, when I put in a search for Zeus Capital LLP, I've come up with an article that says Zeus Capital LLP accuses Chainlink of price manipulation. So this states that Zeus Capital LLP, 
who we have just discussed, perhaps they were putting out false tweets and paying people to potentially or allegedly badmouth Link. It states that an asset management company has publicly accused Chainlink of artificially pumping the price of its coin. The firm has also published a report that says that Chainlink has been making fake partnerships and using them as, as a marketing scheme. The asset management firm stated that Chainlink is created to enrich the founders. Zeus Capital LLP took to Twitter to say they have unlimited resources to go after Link and documented everything related to the alleged price manipulation. This is big guys, so here we have perhaps a false accusation against one company with a counter false accusation against another company or someone's telling the truth or both are telling the truth or believed to be telling the truth. I don't know, let's dig a little deeper. This tweet from Zeus Capital says, we've unlimited resources to go after Link. You can't short squeeze us. Well, that sounds a bit threatening. The attempt to manipulate the market and save Link from today's flash crash is being documented and added to the lawsuits. Everyone involved will face the consequences. Link will drop to 0.0001 of a dollar as in March. Uh, it looks like it's been hastily written there. That was published on the 2nd of August. So that's quite an aggressive tweet there. Reading on, the screenshots include in the tweet claim that Link Marines pumped the coin to liquidate Zeus Capital's short position. A few days back, Zeus Capital Limited, a popular investment bank, published a post in which clarified that it has nothing to do with Zeus Capital LLP, that's what we just read, that is accusing and threatening Chainlink of bad acting. An excerpt from the post reads, for the avoidance of doubt, we would like to state that Zeus Capital Limited has not produced or published research on this subject and has no relationship or affiliation with Zeus Capital LLP whatsoever. So we've ascertained that. We've ascertained that there are two separate Zeus Capitals, which is weird to me. I mean, Zeus Capital is not a common name. Why would you have Zeus Capital and then Zeus Capital LLP? Just my opinion. When you try to look bigger than what you are, you steal someone else's name. For example, if I wanted to get into the soft drink industry and presented myself as Coca-Cola LLP or, I don't know, Apple LLP, if I want to get into the computing industry, you can see on the surface, it creates some confusion. I'm not suggesting Zeus Capital LLP did this, but to me, just reading this with you now, it seemed very confusing. Reading on, Zeus Capital LLP also published an interview with an anonymous industry professional who held a senior position at Castillo Network or Callisto Network. This person said that after Callisto offered to enter a partnership with Chainlink, the latter immediately agreed and published a press release to that effect. However, the person has claimed that no actual collaboration took place and Callisto did not integrate Chainlink oracles according to crypto combs report so looking for zeus capital llp the main thing that's coming up is lots and lots of articles about uh, this accusation that is the counter accusation of accused of spreading fud zeus capital doubles down on chain link pump and dump claims here's another article i won't go into the whole thing but it's basically saying zeus capital llp has released a new report reiterating its earlier stance that chain link is a giant pump and dump scheme this new report comes after the little known asset management and research firm took flack for attacking Chainlink's token on an earlier report. So most certainly there is an attack by Zeus Capital LLP against Chainlink. Here is another tweet from Zeus Capital LLP saying, you buy Link, Chainlink's co-founders buy luxury multi-million dollar condos in New York. Read all about the Russian pump and dump fraud. Link is going to zero dollars, which is a different amount than what we've read before. And those funding their lavish lifestyles with US investors money will face justice. These are really aggressive tweets to put out there in the Twitter sphere. Uh, it also goes on to say, in the report, Zeus Capital LLP questions the announced game-changing partnerships with technology giants such as Google, Oracle, and T-Systems. Unmasking Chainlink's alleged modus operandi, Zeus Capital LLP claims it starts with a large company showcasing some of their products, usually via a blog post, and casually mentioning Chainlink as a theoretical intermediary in delivering the product to blockchain clients. Wow, this is big. What are your thoughts on this crypto goers? Is Chainlink a scam? Is, is Zeus Capital LLP a scam? This is not what I was expecting when I started to make this video, but it's 
quite exciting per se nonetheless. Okay, so what I really want to do now before closing off is in fact find the Zeus Capital web page. But what we can see here, I've just done a simple Zeus Capital LLP search and I've come up with two Zeus Capitals. First of all, I found the one that we were just looking at, which is the Zeus Capital in London, which appears to be the big one or dare I say the legitimate one. I'm not saying the other one's not legitimate. I'm saying I don't know. But here I found a Zeus Capital web page that says Zeus Capital or Zeus-Capital.com but there's no mention of LLP here. So straight away we can see there's two Zeus Capitals. One of which appears to be in London and if we click on this one uh, where is it? Well let's do a little bit of scam research here. So scroll down to the bottom and see if I can find a location. Uh, copyright, privacy, Zeus Capital, Singapore, Hong Kong, New York, it's not giving, it looks like it's in Hong Kong, maybe that's the call there. Um, but what is alarming, I'm, I'm just going to do a basic scam look at this. So if you've been on my channel before, you know how I look at scam sites. The very first red flag I look at is English and straight away I can see an issue with the English. Why? Who we are, what we do, our philosophy, these are all capitalized we and are, that shouldn't be capitalized. Uh, what we do that shouldn't be capitalized. Some would say it could be but not really. It shouldn't be capitalized. They're not proper nouns and th there's no need for it to be capitalized there but that's not enough to say it's a scam most certainly. So let's look for more gaps in English or anything that looks a bit off. It says an asset management firm focused on alternative investments, market infrastructure inefficiencies and event driven opportunities. I can't see anything too bad there. Who we are uh, again, this seems to be the, I mean, it doesn't even say Zeus Capital LLP. It just says Zeus Capital. And again, we've got two Zeus Capitals. We've got one in London and one, I think, we'll, we'll go to contact. Let's find out exactly where they are. It's not telling me where they are, except New York, Singapore, Hong Kong, with a phone call here to Hong Kong. So the only place I can call is Hong Kong, which to me tells me it's not in London and it's not in anywhere else but in Hong Kong. Um, Okay, a few red flags here. So see this, this venture beat, see how that's a little bit blurry? That to me is a red flag. As soon as something becomes a bit blurry, <clears throat> I get concerned. As soon as I see poor English, I get concerned. Again, it's not enough to say that it is a scam because there's poor English or something's capitalized or something's a bit blurry, but it just it just jumps out at me after doing this for years and years and years. Um, let's see, we'll dive a little bit deeper into what we do asset management Zeus Capital manages a private fund on behalf of external clients and principals taking both long and short positions in support of our research we invest across a broad set of asset classes that we believe have abnormally large disparities between intrinsic and market value that seems okay uh, focusing on assets offered on multiple trading venues we have deployed proprietary low latency arbitrage capturing algorithms. Additionally, we are market makers for a range of derivative products in the alternative asset space. I can't really see any poor English there, um, but I will get on to who we are. Well, hang on, all of, see, all of these things are just going to one page. I can't actually see any deeper pages here except for, here we go, uh, I've gone to contact and that's now taken me to a different thing. It says exposing the chain links Ponzi scheme. So here is that article that we spoke about where there is a in fact a paper from Zeus Capital that's talking about Chainlink here and that was posted on August 6th and we've got another one here it says Industry Insider exposes Chainlink's partnership as a marketing scheme that's on the 4th of August another one exposing Chainlink's pump and dump scheme so this is part one and then part two up here and another article on the July 22nd don't let Chainlink's manipulation ruin you. Uh, again, poor English there with those capitals. Uh, you wouldn't really, I mean again it's subjective, but you wouldn't really capitalize R and U. Some would say because it's in the title of a heading like that. I don't know. I don't know. It's subjective English language. Here you go. I wouldn't capitalize the T for two here. Again, not enough to say that a whole company is a scam because it capitalizes a letter. However, it's just something I look at. Another one, 15 red flags to identify a big disaster. How many does Chainlink tick? So another attack. So hang on, this is confusing to me. I've clicked on, I thought I clicked on contact, but clearly I've clicked on news. And the only news I can get 
from their site is everything attacking Chainlink. Is that the only news that they have? What's this to be continued? Click on to be continued. All of their articles, everything they've got here is attacking Link. Don't they have this big company, which it appears to be or makes out that it is, whereas doesn't have anything else to say other than Chainlink is a Ponzi scheme and Chainlink bad. And that's another red flag to me. Again, when we go to who we are and what we do, that this is all just on one page. The only page that I can explore deeper here is the news. And the only news that they've got is Chainlink bad. This site is not looking good to me. It's poor English, uh, focused on poor English, Chinese and Korean. It's got very little information on there. The contact that we've got, the only contact that we've got is an email and Hong Kong. There's no address here. Why is there not an address? Let me just check if the other company, which says it's got no relationship with Zeus Capital LLP, let's just compare it and see how their website looks with, uh, with or without an address. Now look, just as an example, going back to the Zeus Capital, the other Zeus Capital, dare I say the real Zeus Capital, here we are back on their site, scrolling down straight away, you can see all their addresses. So real companies aren't afraid of giving their pos their addresses, where they are, where they're actually positioned in the world. And here they have a London, Manchester, Birmingham and Edinburgh stores or sites or offices. And if we go further into it, you can see the English I was speaking about. Here it says about us, Zeus Capital is an established investment banking operation based in London, Manchester, Birmingham and Edinburgh. Not too many capitals there. Uh, here, even on this one, ranked first for IPO funds raised is not capital on is not capital over and last five years again this is just a, an example of different forms of english real english should i say as opposed to other english again i'm not saying the other one's a scam it just it's just ringing alarm bells to me because if i go to the menu for this one the other zeus capital if i go to about us there's it takes me to new pages it just doesn't scroll down on one page this isn't a one page website this is a detailed deep website with lots of pages in lots of different areas. Uh, I'm, I can get a lot of information from here and you can see the English here is different to the English in the other site. Now look also if I go to news here, uh, as opposed to being one set of articles about something bad or something good, there are many news articles here and you've got 67 pages of news. 67 pages of news. I mean, take your pick. I could be here all night showing you all the different news articles that this Zeus Capital has got compared to Zeus Capital LLP. The only articles they've got is one page of about five and six articles saying uh, chain link bad. It's all red flags. Zeus Capital LLP is a red flag to me. Uh, it appears, I don't know, this is not anything more than just simply my opinion that uh, they've tried to short the uh, Chainlink, they've tried to short their position on Chainlink, they've tried to allegedly spread FUD about Chainlink and it's backfired on them and now they're threatening to take them to court to say Chainlink is a scam. Look, I've done reviews on Chainlink before, they've been very objective reviews uh, without any uh, subjectivity to it of what I think or don't think about it. I have invested in Chainlink, I have made money on Chainlink, but if you look at the research and the backing behind Chainlink, it appears to be a real coin. Maybe it's not. Maybe it is. Uh, again, early days in crypto land. But based on everything we've gone through tonight, I think Chainlink is a big project with a big future. It's had a big return. As we can see over the last uh, day, it's had that huge run up. Again, this is not an ICO or an IPO that's just put out a paper or a white paper and said, put all this money into it. It is in fact a researched and created coin that's gone through huge volumes today at 0600 uh, I think this is American time I can't even be sure which time zone it is but at six o'clock this morning we'll say it had massive amounts of volume there pumping that coin right up and there is now a war it seems between Chainlink and this other site called Zeus Capital LLP what a ride thanks for sharing this with me let's close off with a joke for the day a turtle is crossing the road when he's mugged by two snails. When the police show up, they ask him what happened. The shaken turtle replies, I don't know. It all happened so fast. <laughs> I'm Adam Stokes. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to hit that like, share and subscribe. Also, don't forget if you want to buy Chainlink or any coins, check out the safe and secure link below as well as a hardware wallet you can buy safely with the link below. 
merch store also available if you want anything crypto related. Thanks for listening. Happy investing. Go crypto. Go Chainlink. And I'll talk to you next time.